welcome we need to show that the coefficient of x squared is 0 in the expansion of the given term we will start off by finding the terms in x squared x squared is simply 1 times x squared and x times x alright now to make it clearer and simpler I have marked the first term in red and the second term in green alright so taking 1 from the first term and taking the term in x squared from the expansion of the second term and multiplying these two we obviously get x squared similarly taking the term negative 2x over a from the first term and taking the term in x from the second term and multiplying these two we also get x squared now it's clear that to begin we need to expand the second term and to do that we will use the binomial expansion I will talk in brief about the use of the binomial expansion All right here we go now let's look at the term x plus y to the power n now the general term in the expansion is ncr times x to the power n minus r times y to the power r where n is the power to which the expansion is raised to ncr and that's the combination symbol used in statistics and r the value of which will give the desired terms for example substituting r equals 0 gives the first term substituting r equals 1 gives the second term and so on notice that substituting r equals n will give the n plus one -th term that is if the power is n then the expansion will give n plus one terms so power is 5 it will give six terms as in our case so the general term in a the expansion of a plus x to the power 5 is 5 cr times a to the power 5 minus r times x to the power r just in this case n is equal to 5 it's the same thing just using the formula all right so we need the terms in x and x squared as previously stated so r equals 1 gives the term in x and r equals 2 gives the term in x squared so all we need to do is put r equals 1 and put r equals 2 in the general term shown in the box and add them up that's it all right so put r equals 1 you'll get the first term put r equals 2 you'll get the second term soon well you can see dashes in front of and behind these two terms the dashes indicate that not all the terms are written since the power is 5 there are 6 terms in the expansion but we only need these two terms so it's better to include only what we need that saves our time and effort alright so dashes in front and behind indicate there are more terms but they are not shown here so that's it now for 5c1 and 5c2 use calculators and just simplify them up it's not that difficult just a three mark just a three mark question so this is what you should get all right now let's move back to the main expression so substitute a plus x whole to the power 5 with what we just found out with what we just found out the above expression now we need to multiply these up and find terms in x squared so multiplying the terms in brackets so multiplying the terms in the boxes with the same color will give x squared red into red you can see will give x squared and green into green will also give x squared so you should get the same terms with a positive and negative sign they cancel each other out to give zero and zero is the same as zero x squared well zero into x squared is zero so yeah we have proved that the coefficient in the expansion is zero the coefficient of x squared in the expansion is zero i hope that helped thank you and see you again